Hey guys, Inferno here. This is a first look game called Strange Land, which came out on May 25th last month on Steam, developed by Wormwood Studios and published by Wadget Eye Games. It's a point and click adventure from the creators of Primordia. You wake in a surreal carnival where a woman cries out to you before leaping to her death. Who was she? And who are you? The denizens and devices of Strangeland answer with riddles, puzzles, and warnings of a dark thing lurking at the park's peak. Looks quite cool. Wedge Light Games have a lot of good games out. So the, their recent one before this was um, Avowed, and then Whispers of, of a Machine, all that. Let's jump into a new game. So you walk, use, and talk, take with left mouse button and examine with the right mouse button. So, arrows. Looks like they really want me to go in. Not very inviting. Not very inviting. It says not all attractions are suitable to all ages. Visitors are encouraged to exercise judgment. Pretty vague as warnings go. It's an ad for Nepenthe. It reads, Quaff, oh quaff, this fine Nepenthe. Win a bottle today at the shooting gallery. Oh, so let's go in. Wait! Goodbye, my love. She's gone. Hmm. It's a bit dark. Not gone, Querent. Nearly dead. Again and again she comes to this well to weep and leap at the sound of the shriek. Which of you will save the other? Okay. So we got a payphone, we've got an exit with the fortune teller. It's a payphone. It's a coin operated fortune teller called Murmur the Magnificent. I need to put in a quarter. Have we got a quarter? Exit there, exit there, this one. Oops, she looked in the well. In. Oh, she's back again. Please don't.
It's a long way down, but I could give it a shot. There's something moving down there, and a hint of golden light. To the stop. What happened? Just some rocks. Oh, cool. So you got rocks done. Oh. Think so? No. Not this again. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says, and now here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. Doc says, not this again. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got inside, 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 inside. Me this time. I don't go in it. Ah, oh, you idiot. Don't have a look at it. Wrong button. Now, I wonder if I'm still at the rocks. I do. Have a look. I've got plenty. Okay. Strange land. A bit on the nose. <laughs> Strange land. Okay. Crow's flying along. Sees a crab eating some lady. Crow squawks. What are you doing? She's not even dead yet. Crab scuttles off. Next day, Crow's flying along. Sees the crabs at it again. I thought I told you to scram, he says. Crab says, take another look. Crow looks at the lady and just says, Carry on! Get it? Carry on. Ew, funny people. Alright. Let's go out yeah, this one. The hole's just big enough to reach through. Dead rat. Got it. Sure is heavier than it looked. It's an eye in something horrible. No way I could manage that. It's much too far away. It's a good 30 feet out of reach. I'll need to get into the tent first. Sign. Pick either direction, but definitely go left, I guess. <laughs> These roots are supporting an unnatural bridge. I guess some attractions are always out of reach. I guess some... This way. Who's there? Did you scare off those nice doves? Come closer. Let me hear you. There's nothing on them but nonsense. They're just not. Recurrence. A large crow. Raven. Sticks and stones will make me groan, but words will never move me. Let me line this shot up. <laughs> My 
my beak. Beak? Hmm. Interesting. His eyes, they're gone. But my ears are just fine, stranger. Not. Who are you? I'm afraid I don't rightly know. I'm just an old fool who can hardly remember what he's read, much less who he is. I do recall a book that said, each is his own judge. That might just have to do. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. <sighs> no sickness is worse to one who is wise than to lack the longed-for love. I keep hearing a terrible shriek. What is it? The dark thing. What are you writing? The same things I've written a thousand times before. After all, an act can lose meaning if you do it often enough. Where are we? I wish I could tell you. The man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. I read that once, I think. What is the dark thing? A shadow locked away up there, festering. Some boils are better left unlanced. Can you tell me anything about Murmur the Magnificent? Wise and weighty be the word of his mouth, and his head was too good to bury. Whatever that means. I'd say I can't make heads or tails of it, but then, I'm not much one for puns. What happened to your eyes? I fed them to a raven. <laughs> he said it would bring me wisdom. Did you mention doves? Yes, I feed them as they flutter by. I find it soothes my mind. Are they here? Do you mean that crow? Raven. No, I mean the doves. It was the raven who told me of them. Are they here? Sure they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread. A scrap of meat. I'd rather think of it as bread for the doves. Can't you just tell me? Seldom do those who... So I think I'd best... Did it work? Or... Oh, yeah. I learned that to be blind is better than to burn on a pyre, and that it is easier to be rid of your eyes than the vision that offended you. But who was she? Who are we to rob each other of our forgetfulness? After all, it's written somewhere that... The learned man, whose lore is deep, is seldom happy at heart. How can I reach the dark thing? A word leads to a word, a deed to a deed. For silver, he speaks, is wisdom worth gold. I read that once, or maybe I wrote it. I suppose it doesn't much matter, one way or the other. Can you at least tell me your name? Well, I remember the name Fimble Famby, but whether it's mine or yours or both of ours, I can't quite say. Goodbye. Joy to him who has understood, delight to those who have listened.
My claws! Did you say claws? I don't need his notes. It says claw. It says claw. I don't need it. A noose. You were the one who tied it there. Did it make you any wiser? I'm not. That's why I write things down. So as not to remember. Don't you mean to forget? Yes, I do mean. I can't. It seems to be ign It's an empty bread. But the deeper he drinks, the dimmer grows the mind of many a man. An empty bird. An empty. That's not. It's a you. Ahem, it is the. Step right up, step right up! Win yourself a bottle of Nepenthe! The brew that puts a bullet in all your bad thoughts! I guess it has something to do with the sh. I think there's some kind of circuitry behind this plate. There's no latch, and the edges are too tight. It's some kind of loudspeaker said I could win a ball. It's part of the show. Ten hits get you one hit, and one hit's all it takes to bring blessed sleep. Shoot the heads. It's part of the sh Part of the shooting game. Still too damn fast for me. If only there were some way to slow them down. Step right up. Step it's locked. Right up. It's locked. Pick either direction, but pick. It's venting steam. It's just waiting for something. I need to put something up. It's venting. Whoever built this place certainly doesn't trust me to find a huge furnace with 83 painted on. That is my name, 83. 
What are you? I am the fire that burns the impure. What's that anvil for? Like the bear that licks its cub into shape with a tongue of fire, I forge from ore upon the anvil whatever thing I wish. Can you make something for me? I can make anything. Bring me a work order and lay your medal upon the anvil. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. The bellows gasped on the day she was made. But who was she? A flawed thing that fire could not save. What can you tell me about the dark thing? It should have been burnt away, but the fire did no more than shrink it for a time. I really need you to make me something. You can bring me an order, or you can burn. Make me something! I will make you ash. Okay. Oh dear. I've got plenty. Kid staring at heaven, when suddenly there's this stabbing pain in his eye. Can't stop himself from crying. And everywhere he looks, everything's ugly, dirty, and dark. Kid runs to the doctor, and the doc checks him out. Doc says, well, Kai, problem is you've got a little shard in there. Kai looks at him and says, But Doc, you've got a whole mirror in yours! <laughs> so, gonna go in. No lady, no mirror. I need to put. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go this way. Oh, cool. What's this fire? Oh, it's the girl. I already have her picture in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Must be lighting up my way to go. Welcome to the mysteries of the deep. That's closed. Oops. And the only That was okay. electrifying. <laughs> Alright guys, my name's Inferno. This is my first look at Strangeland. I'm gonna continue my efforts tomorrow night. For now, have a great weekend gaming. Wait to save that. Yes. I'll see you next time.